Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. And in today's episode of Rust Electricity 101, the component guide, we are going to be covering the new HBHF sensor. HBHF sensor is a newly released component of February 2019 update. And it stands for the Heartbeat, Breathing, Humidity, and Footstep sensor. It's basically a proximity sensor that passes through a number of units of electricity equal to the number of players that it detects in a 20 meter radius so long as they were within line of sight. And it says here it's configurable with a hammer and I'll show you that. It uses 15 high quality metal and one tech trash. And tech trash as a component of electronic uh, crafting is new with this update, but it is required in a few of the different new components that we'll get to in other episodes. So the HPHF sensor is craftable and it's discoverable within crates, military crates, elite crates, and most likely to be found inside the hackable crate. It is not a default blueprint, you wouldn't be that lucky. And it has two handles on it, a power input and a power output. Now this is a bit misleading as I'll demonstrate in a moment because the power output only equals the number of people that it's configured to detect within its range. It does not pass through the amount of power you're putting in when it's triggered. So it is not like the laser detector or the pressure pad. And it will only pass through the amount of power that it has available up to the number of people it's detecting minus the one unit that it's consuming. And I have my friends uh, Problematic and Biggie Smalls here to help me demonstrate that. So let me cut to that clip. All right, now to demonstrate the limitation of the output of the HBHF sensor, it will put out uh, one unit of power for every person within its detection range up to the maximum amount of power that it's bringing in. So for example, we have two other folks here, so we can technically get this thing up to a count of three. So uh, Problematic and Big, you guys come on over here for a second will show off that when there's three of us standing in front of it, it gives us a count of three, and the HBHF itself uses one unit, so this takes a total of four units to do this display right here. I have the branch out set to five. Now, if I decrease it to three, you'll see even though there's still three of us in range, it only puts out a count of two, because there's only two units of power left over after the one that it is consuming. So unlike other trigger or pass-through components that put through the entire amount of power that's coming in, this device only puts through the number of people it can count in its range, and only if it has that amount of power available, minus the one that it's using itself. All right, thank you guys. That worked to detect all three of us because it's presently configured, and you have to use the hammer, not the wire tool, to configure it. It's presently configured to include everyone. You can exclude authorized players if you want to detect just strangers, and you can include uh, exclude other players if you only want to include the people who are authorized on your tool cabinet. So if you're using this for convenience in your base, you would uh, exclude others. If you're using it for trap bases, you'd want to exclude authorized, so it only triggers off of strangers. Now, one of the number one questions that I'm asked about how to utilize this, because it only puts out one or two or maybe three units of power, depending on how many people it's detecting, is how do I use it to power my lights and my doors and everything else when there's only one unit of power? One of the easiest ways to do this is to connect the output to an AND switch, so that when both A and B are present, it'll put out power. In this case, the AND is putting out the larger of the two inputs, and the other input is my large solar panel over here, which is on fire, but uh, it is outputting 17 units of power. So you can see, since the AND switch is choosing the better of the two, it puts out 17 units of power. So you don't have to rely on just the one unit coming from the HBHF, it can trigger other devices to let power through or stop power. So you could use this in combination with a blocker 
uh, a memory cell, a RAND switch, an XOR switch, um, and obviously with the AND switch here, we're triggering larger, more complex circuits to either turn off when detecting people or turn on when detecting people. And do not forget that it is only going to detect you within a 20 meter radius. Back here, it won't detect me anymore. And it will not detect me if I go over here on the other side of the wall. I am now out of its range and it will not detect anybody who is not in visual line of sight range within 20 meters. So to summarize, the HBHF is the new proximity sensor. It detects people within 20 meters line of sight it will detect the people you've configured it for, either authorized, unauthorized, or both. It consumes one unit of power itself and outputs the number of units of people it's detecting as long as you're putting that much power in. It is craftable with 15 high qual and one tech trash. It is also discoverable. It is not a default blueprint, but it is going to be your best friend for detection in raid alarms, trap bases, and convenience within your own base for you and your other authorized clan members. Take advantage of it. It is the HB HF. Mm -hmm.